What's up guys, it's Coach Grant with First Down Training, and today we're going to be breaking down how to run a dig route versus press. We're going to be taking a look at this practice film here from Justin Jefferson. We're going to be talking about how we can run a dig route when this DB's in this like kind of catch technique, and how you guys can finish the play, okay? So I hope this gives you guys some value, but also, fellas, if you guys want to improve your hands, and you don't have a quarterback to throw to you 24-7, you got to get better at making catches in traffic over the shoulder, and you don't have a quarterback to throw to you, you just want some specific drills for that, check out that very first link in the description. All the drills you need to improve your hands that do not require a quarterback quarterback 30 days full of drills check out that very first link in the description again to get access to that hope we get you guys on that soon let's get started so let's watch this first route full speed so you see how he comes with this little hesitation one two gets that db to turn his hips we break this thing off and again db is not in a horrible position so that's what we're going to be talking about finishing the play here okay it's not about who can get the most separation it's about who can keep the most separation right it's easy to get separation if you do the things correctly that we talk about but can you keep it right so let's start with off the line let's start with how we can structure my release here to get some space so db's in a catch right so we're on the ball he's about two yards off what he's hoping that we do is we just run to the outside he's able to get hands and reroutes us completely but we know as a receiver that we can't do that we got to be able to close the distance kind of maybe give him a little hesitation this is like the perfect situation with the db to give like kind of a hesitation little hop right here kind of walk off release and then we give him this one two right i give him a one two and i see how much jefferson sells with his upper half right so when we get this hesitation then i work it's just like a crossover in basketball you guys got to be sudden with your feet to create that explosion but also you want to be able to step outside of his frame to threaten him because what are we trying to sell right now we're trying to sell that we're just going to give a little hesitation one move to the inside and beat this race and win this race back to the outside and try to beat him on a vert get him to turn those hips and hopefully the quarterback puts this thing over the top that's what i'm trying to sell so i got to say that with my upper half i got to sell like that, that with my upper half so i come off here i hesitate one two and you see he steps outside of his frame because if you're not stepping outside of a frame that does not threaten the db at all if you guys are stepping inside of his frame it's not going to get him to turn his hips so i got to be violent with my upper half you see how his hips are angled towards the sideline because that's what he's watching db should be watching your hips so if you could throw your hips to the outside you get him to move right people all the time say oh well oh the db's just got to watch his hips it's like well as a receiver we got to understand that if you guys sell with your hips and that's all the db has we, we win every single time if you guys can sell in a direction with your hips and actually step outside of the frame so now we get him off that platform so what's he going to do here he's going to do this speed turn or this baseball turn as some like to call it so he's probably not going to be in a bad position to make this move. This is why it's so important to have that explosion off that release. Because what a lot of receivers will do is they'll come off and they'll hit this one, two, and then this step is not explosive. They'll pop themselves up. They think they got some separation and they'll cruise to that break point. You guys got to make sure that after you make this move, you step outside of his frame, you get him to jump. I explode. I burst back up because that's what's going to get you some separation. Because this DB, he knows he got beat. He's, oh shit, I got to recover. I got to get back over the top of this thing. So when we make this break off the top, it's also really Real important that you accelerate. DB's riding his back hip. He did not play this well. He probably played this as good as he can. Just Jefferson ran a perfect route. That's that's all that's all it comes down to. The DB could play it perfectly but if we do it perfectly he will not win because that's just that's just the nature of the game because the db is always one step behind because receivers know where they're going to be going so if we do everything perfect all it relies on is the quarterback to put us uh, put a good ball and if we accelerate out of this thing we win that race back to the ball my hands are late i know it's a little blurry right here but i can make that play and this is plenty of separation especially at this high of a level when you have talented quarterbacks throwing to you okay so that's how you can structure your dig um a running a dig against press with an inside release just make sure that we accelerate Make sure we're fast after we get some separation, especially going against a catch technique DB. Close the distance, be patient, be sudden, explode outside of his frame, sell with your upper half, then let's win that race back to that spot where the quarterback needs us to be. It's watch at full speed. So he hesitates, one, two, bursts up field, breaks this thing off, make sure those hands are late. Great job by Justin Jefferson. All right, guys, I really want to thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. If you guys have any questions at all, please leave those in the comments below. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And also, guys, if you want to improve your hands, but you don't have a quarterback to throw to you 24 seven don't have a quarterback to throw to you at all check out that very first link in the description for specific catching drills to improve your hands without a quarterback i really appreciate you guys watching and i'll see you guys next time